for the future. Just as much a family affair is the hop picking that every year provides a holiday with pay in Kent for thousands of men, women and children from all parts of Britain. A great many of the pickers, though, are complete families from South London in particular, adding a cheerful Cockney accent to the busy scene. At the beginning of August, when the hop vines are fully grown and the small cones are ready to be picked, the coal goes out. Bags are packed and prams are loaded and special trains and coaches bring to Paddock Wood the happy army of pickers. Some coming for the first time, some for the 50th. Hops are gathered by pulling down the whole vine and picking off the cones into large portable bins. Four persons, usually one family, share a bin, and every 60 bins is a complete self-contained unit called a drift. Each drift has a measurer and checker who keep a record of the bins picking and pay the families according to the number of 10 bushel sacks they have filled. For three weeks, the hop gardens are a buzz of activity, with thousands of pickers busy on the farms during the day and gay with campfire sing-songs at night. Then, suddenly, it is all over and the work is finished. The bare poles and wires are once more silhouetted against the sky, while the hops which will be used to flavour Britain's beer are drying in the oast houses. For the pickers, the work is over, but not the holiday. For now, it is time for the Hop Festival. This year, for the first time, the festival is celebrated with the barbecue. To Mrs. Annie Gorman of Wapping goes the traditional garland of hops and the first piece of the barbecued ox. This grand old lady of the hop fields has been coming here for 69 years and will be coming, we hope, for many more. For 12 hours, the ox roasters have been turning their spits and juicing the meat with spices as it's cooked over the open fires. Two oxen have been roasted whole to satisfy the keen appetites of nearly 4,000 pickers. Mr. Mumford Cook, licensee of a nearby inn, is in charge of the ox roasting. His yes means that dinner, in the form of mountainous sandwiches, is served. Man-sized sandwiches for having done a man-sized job. With roast ox to eat, beer on sale at a licensed tent, and music from an accordion band, the pickers are certain of a high-spirited and colourful evening. A gay finale to a healthy and profitable holiday, hop picking.